Edgar Allan Poe was the son of an English-born actress, Elizabeth Arnold Poe and David Poe Jr., an actor from Baltimore. When Edgar was only two, his parents died in Richmond, Virginia. Shortly after, he was taken to the home of John Allen, a Richmond merchant and presumably his godfather. Years later, in 1862, he attended the University of Virginia. He was educated there for 11 months before getting pulled out by his godfather for his incessant gambling. And apparent losing. Later in his life, poverty forced him to join the army under the name of Edgar A. Perry. But on the death of Poe's foster mother, John Allen bought his release from the army and helped him enroll into the U.S. military at West Point. Poe sought expulsion from the academy. He proceeded to New York City and brought a volume of poems containing several masterpieces. In 1835, he returned to Richmond, working there as an editor of the Southern Literacy Messenger, where he made a name for himself as a critical reviewer. It wasn't long before Poe was terminated from his job because of drinking. Drinking turned out to be the bane of his life. He then returned to New York, where he composed a few more famous pieces, such as the narrative of Arthur Gordon Pym, Burton's Gentleman's Magazine, William Wilson, and The Fall of the House of Usher. In 1849, Poe returned to Philadelphia. There, he had a wild spree, but got safely to Richmond. There in Richmond, he enjoyed the companionship of childhood friends and an unromantic relationship with a young poet named Susan Archer Talley. He soon died, whether it was from drinking, heart failure, or some other cause nobody is really sure. Poe was buried in Westminster Presbyterian Churchyard in Baltimore.